Welcome back to my channel. This is Najee here, the HBIC, the head bacon in charge of the Bacon Bit Squad. Thank you guys so much for being here, as well as all of the new subbies that have decided to sub to the channel. I really, really appreciate you guys. Let's go ahead and talk about this mortgage, guys, because you know, last week we left off at $4,647, okay? That is where we left off. Now, we did go ahead and make an additional payment today. However, there is going to be one additional payment that will be made for the month of July. I'm pretty excited about this one, guys. I really am. So you guys will see that payment for sure July 31st. So make sure you stay tuned and make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit the all notification bell button so that you can see how much is being applied next week on July 31st. It's probably the largest amount that has been applied to the mortgage I would say since starting it, okay? Since starting the early mortgage payoff journey, okay? So make sure you guys stay tuned for that. So with that being said, I do have to adjust some numbers here because I looked on the statement online and it wasn't matching what I thought was here. So I am gonna make a couple of adjustments here and so you'll see that and then I'll also let you know how much that I paid off. Hope everybody is doing well today and that you are enjoying your Monday when you see this video or whatever day it is that you happen to see it. So as I already stated, the last week's balance, I'm gonna go ahead and write here. Let's see, so today is the 24th. We are almost out of July, almost out of July. I start work next week. Yeah, I actually start work next week. Kids don't return back to school until the 14th for my school for my school and then for my kids school the 16th for the district that they're in so let's go ahead and and I haven't done any school supply shopping or anything like that I did get the school supply list for both of my kids thankfully I have a lot of the things already from last year that they need this list is so short compared to the schools that they went to previously so I have a lot of items and then they still have items from last year. So that's a tip, guys. Definitely shop what you have as far as back to school supplies. You would be surprised at the things that you're still able to use and that we keep buying over and over every single year. So make sure you shop those supplies and save yourself some money. And I think the most thing that I'll have to really purchase for my kids are clothes. And that's for the oldest one because now he's getting ready to go to uh, public school. As far as my youngest, he has pretty much all of his clothes from his brother. So I may just have to buy like a few things for him. But other than that, he's, he's set from here on out pretty much. Okay, so what I did here was I adjusted it to $525.11. Now, that is not how much that I actually paid this week. It was actually $500, but the $25.11 is an adjustment from where I was doing all of these estimates and stuff, and I didn't know exactly how much the mortgage principal amount was going to be, so I had to go in here and adjust it, and this is what the screenshot basically stated from the balance. So now the new balance is $4,121.89. Yes, $4,121.89, that is our new balance. We are getting ready to hit a new milestone. We're getting ready to hit a new milestone for the month of July, guys. Um, like I said, stay tuned for that. Next week's video, largest amount that we've been able to put on here. And I'm pretty I'm pretty excited about it. Yeah, that is where we're at. I don't think I'm going to color in anything today. But I did want you guys to see and for me to continue to be consistent with these videos. Let's see what our amortization schedule says. If we're at 41. 21.89 so now that brings us down to paid up to january 1st 2031 if we were to stop here but you know we're not going to stop you got you guys know we are not going to stop we are almost at the finish line we have one two three four five six for this six payments and that's what it says in the in the uh online account as well six payments so yeah, I'm pretty excited about that, guys. We are, yeah, this is going to be really, really good. Okay, guys, if you happen to enjoy this video, definitely share it with somebody else. Share it for inspiration to let them know that this can be done. 
our mortgage debt was the largest debt that we had. I'm going to do like a whole video on how much the debt was that we initially had as far as consumer debt and if we've ever had student loan debt and all of those things because I don't think I've ever done that or even addressed that. But that will be a video that will happen later on as well as a video of what happens next after the mortgage payoff. So thank you guys so much for being here and tuning in to Mortgage Monday. Hey, you guys thought I forgot. No, I didn't forget. The vocals are still here. They're still going to be here. <laughs> All right, guys. Until the next video. Bye.